Hi, it's me, your host, Greg Kellogg, and I understand that we can't get to everything that you would like us to cover. However, if you leave a comment, we'll be sure to try to at least answer it in the comments. Also, if you would like and share this video and subscribe to the channel, we would really appreciate it. <music>
Now, I've got one picture here of a local pizza place. We ordered pizzas from them for the guards that were protecting our condo. So I wanted to include at least one picture of it here. Guards love the pizzas. Next up, though, is Swinson's Ice Cream. Swinson's is a American-based ice cream restaurant based out of San Francisco. They use all natural ingredients. The ice cream is great. The management and workers were very good and treated us well. While I was waiting for uh, Janie and Paula and Deborah one day, they actually let me uh, piggyback off their internet so that I could uh, connect with the girls. Uh, so I, that's all I really want to say about Swenson's, but they're great. And I love the fact that they were so good to me. When you travel a long way from home, a lot of times you want, you know, just a little taste of what's normal. We actually chose the Sizzler restaurant, which is a, an American steakhouse that was located inside one of the malls. We uh, went there to eat. They have a great salad bar. They have a great dessert bar. The food was good but it was one of the more expensive meals that we had while we were there. And I have to say, with all the great options you have, street food, vendors, uh, the night markets, the restaurants in the area, uh, you're probably better off spending your money in one of the other establishments. And speaking of the other establishments, Janie and I quickly found the morning bread. It was down Soy 94, walking distance from the condo we were staying at, the Mikonos condo. And the food was excellent. Now, it was not the cheapest place we could find. It, it was probably actually for breakfast one of the more expensive options. But the food was always great, and the people that served us were great. And uh, it was walking distance. So I highly recommend the morning, the morning bread cafe. It's very nice. Another breakfast place we ate at was May's Kitchen. This was recommended on Wahin Foodies for us, and we decided to try it. And I started out in a very foul mood. Um, our taxi driver, well, she got lost twice. Had to call someone to help her find it. When we arrived, the, charge, uh, the driver charged us three fifty for the ride. I gave the other guy a hundred baht for getting us there. Maze was smaller than I expected, but the staff was friendly, and I was able to strike up a conversation with two of the regulars, so that helped ease my mood. But what amazed me was the food. The menu only had one option for breakfast, but they serve things not on the menu. I got a sandwich made on fresh-made sliced bread. Look at the size of the bread slices. Huge. The serving was huge. It was very good. Janie loved her food and ate every bit of it. She was also very impressed by their coffee. Total cost of two meals, coffee, orange juice, and a bottle, bottle of water was two eighty five. dollars Now, I asked the owner to call us a cab afterwards so that we could get back uh, while we were going to the Market Village Mall. Instead of calling us a cab, he got out of his car and drove us there. Now, that's service you just can't beat. It's above and beyond. Um, just don't mention Manchester United to him. I made that mistake. He's from Manchester, but apparently Manchester United is not. They're different football clubs, so it's a very nice place. I can highly recommend it. Oh, and on a side note, uh, I've heard from people in Wahin Foodies that their ch uh, fish and chips is second to none. So you might want to try them for dinner, too. Before I travel anywhere, I try to find out as much as I can about where I'm going. Part of my research took me to a video blogger on YouTube named Chuck. Chuck and Paige run the site No Time to Be Sad. They talk about life in Isan, basically, and they document their everyday life, whether it's going to a hospital or going across the border into Laos. They share it with, with all their viewers. And one of the things that Chuck shared was he loved this Vietnamese breakfast soup, and Janie wanted to try it. So I tried to find her a Vietnamese restaurant where she could eat. It. Now, we walked quite a while looking for the restaurant, just never found it. We did find the Ledic Cafe, though, and the shade and fans there were just what I needed. Swear to God, I thought I was going to have heat stroke. Lifesaver. And the food was an unexpected delight. I had the standard fried eggs breakfast, and it came with toast, a fried tomato, three small hot dogs, and a ton, well, not literally, but a lot, of bacon that was cooked perfectly crispy, but not burnt. Two fried eggs. Two fried eggs. And uh, I had a bottle of cold water, which because I was sweating so badly, I needed badly. And it was served with a full glass of ice. Side note, the ice melted before I finished the bottle of water. It was that hot out. Hottest day while we were there. 
Janie had a coconut water served in a coconut, and it was full. She had the Greek salad for lunch. Both of us loved the food. Large portions, decent price, 445 baht for everything. And the topper is that the Letic Cafe is next to the Letic Gym, right next door. So I thought I'd show it to you. Two thumbs up for the service and the quality of the food. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. I found Janie, the Vietnamese restaurant. It was uh, no go on the meal we were looking for, though. And we ordered way too much food again. The soup was full chicken and was served with garnishments and two sauces. The one on the left was a little sweet. Loved this dish, and Janie did share it with me. Uh, for an entree, I ordered the, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this, Guai Tu Kaui. Uh, I'll put it in the link so you can see it. It's somewhat spicy entry that to me was just okay. I, I wouldn't reorder it, um, but I don't like spicy food. They didn't have what Janie wanted, so she ordered a different dish. Not sure what it was called, but it was also very good. And we switched plates halfway through. I used the sweet sauce from the faux chicken, and it made Janie's dish even better. Uh, for dessert, we shared a caramel custard with ice cream. And I didn't think to take a photo until we were halfway through it. So what you're seeing is what was left. It was presented very nicely, whipped cream on both the ice cream and custard. The ice cream was topped with a green garnish and a red cherry. The custard was essentially Mexican flan. Um, not as firm as traditional flan, but the taste was very good. Uh, we loved that food too. Cafe is located a ways past the tracks on Soy 94, so it was a bit of a walk for us. Uh, but the staff was very polite and friendly, and they also had a room with an air conditioner, which we took full advantage of. Total cost was 675 baht, making it one of our more expensive meals. But we did have three entrees and a dessert, so it was overall good value for the portion size and quality of the food. As I stated earlier, every now and then you want to taste a home. So uh, we had dinner at Joe's Bar. Joe is an Aussie expat living in Hua Hen. Um, it's walking distance from Menconos on Soy 94. I don't walk far. Um, Janie ordered a coconut milk soup with chicken and egg rolls. She had coffee to drink. I had the spaghetti bolognese with garlic and cheese bread. I had the pineapple juice drink. Uh, if I recall correctly, the total cost was about $18, 560 baht. Janie was served rice shaped like a heart. Way too much for her to finish, but it was pretty cool to see that. Another place we visited and enjoyed quite a bit was Rafferty's Bar and Grill. This is a, primarily a seafood bar and grill. It's got great ambiance, great, uh, very friendly staff and owner. Um, it had only been open three days and already had a good group of customers when we ate there. Janie ordered the Bahama burger and fries. I got the fried fish sandwich with fries. The fries were very good. We liked the uh, the way they're cut and the fact that they're crunchy outside and tender inside. So uh, I had a good sandwich. Janie had a great sandwich. Huge, thick piece of meat, perfectly cooked on a sesame seed bun, ample bacon, and a thick slice of cheese that really made the sandwich stand out. We both had Cokes to drink. Uh, Mike Lowe is the owner. He clearly likes fishing, which shows up in the decor. And anyone that knows me knows I had to exchange fishing stories. Mike was kind enough to spend some time with me talking about fishing. Uh, he talked a little bit about his history of owning restaurants as well. It was a little difficult to find for my first taxi. Didn't get close, but the second driver got us there, and it was well worth the trip. I highly advise anybody that wants a good meal and some good ambiance to make the trip out to Rafferty's. You can find their menu online. The meal was 285 baht, around $9. So you can add value to all the other greats. Janie and I met Jeff Renouf and his girlfriend Katie at the Isan station for dinner. It was uh, our only meal really with people that we had not met prior to going. So we had excellent company and discussion. Katie and Janie really seemed to hit it off. Janie had pineapple juice and the salmon. I had a pineapple shake and fried rice in a pineapple. My serving was huge. I mean, 
huge. And Janie couldn't finish hers. It was very tasty food. Uh, Jeff ordered Thai crab curry, and I believe he had minced pork for Katie. Um, I tried Jeff's Thai crab. Uh, I don't like curry, but I love crab. And it was very good. I, of course, avoided the peppers. Janie said that she was going to order it the next time we ate there, and we did eat there again with Deborah and Paula. I'm not sure if Janie ordered it, though. I'm not sure she remembered what it was. It was quite cool because it had rained the night before, and so we could have eaten outside. I chose to eat inside. I prefer inside to outside usually, but they did have live entertainment outside. So next time I'll probably do the outside thing. They had some nice desserts. They had a banana split that I wanted, but it just didn't have any room. And uh, I really enjoyed the conversation with Jeff and Katie. Uh, bottom line, Esan offers a vast menu of food at reasonable prices, excellent ambiance and service. Our entrees, appetizer, and drinks came to 688 baht, about $22. The fact that it is walking distance down Soy 94 also helped us. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the food at the malls. The Market Village Mall was actually one of my favorite eating places. They have a whole basement that's kind of dedicated to cafeteria-style food. They do have other booths, but the food is outstanding. Uh, we had a couple bowls of soup. Janie ordered hers dry, which she won't do again. I shared some of my soup with her to give her some liquid. Each bowl was 40 baht, and I'll price that for you. I added three spears of chicken balls, 12 total chicken balls with plum sauce, another 30 baht. We both had milk tea, cantaloupe for Janie, banana for me, had 35 baht per drink. And finally, Janie bought a sticky rice with mango for her dessert. At 50 baht, this brought the total cost for the meal to 230 baht. Inexpensive for two people. Uh, one of the least expensive meals we had and in my humble opinion, one of the very best. Taste was great. Ambience sucked because it was, you know, well, a cafeteria setting. Uh, but this is about the food, and the food was great. Far back on the left-hand side of the basement in the Market Village Mall. Now, I came down with a case of Bangkok belly. It's a stomach flu. It's not pleasant. For three days, I couldn't keep anything down. And when a 300-pound guy, 136 kilograms, Hasn't had any food for two or three days. Hunger is a bad description of what I was feeling. So finally, the pain and nausea passed, and Janie and I headed off to Blueport to grab lunch and see a movie. Janie had the 90 baht special, and I had rice noodle with fish ball soup, just 50 baht. Uh, when you've essentially had no food for three days, your stomach shrinks. Food was quite good, but neither of us could finish it. Good value, good taste, and... Not quite as good as Market Village, but it was still quite good. Hey, if you liked the video, go ahead and click on the thumbs up for us. Give us a like. And, you know, as always, we would just love it if you would go ahead and subscribe so you can see all of our videos. <music>